Welcome to the City of Fort Worth's Acela Citizen Access website. In this video, you will learn how to apply for a new Residential Accessory Structure Permit. In order to apply for a permit, you must first have an Acela Citizen Access account. If you have not created one, please click on the Register for an Account link. For more information on how to create an account, click on the Registration Video Tutorial link. Once you have created an account and have logged in, you will be ready to start. You will find yourself on the Acela Citizen Access homepage. There are two places you can choose to go to when applying for a permit. Click the Development tab at the top of the screen and then click Apply for a Permit just below the Development tab. Or you may simply click on Apply for a Permit under the Development section. You will then see the general disclaimer and should read through this to ensure you are aware of the website's terms and conditions. Once you have read through the terms and conditions, please check the I have read and accepted the above terms box. Then click Continue Application. You will be taken to the Select Record Type page. This page explains the different record types. It may be a positive experience to stop and read through the informative section here. You will also find links for the submittal requirements for all building permits. To ensure that your permits are processed in a timely manner, please review the submittal requirements to make sure you have the required information to apply. You may save your work and come back to the permit at a later time. Once you read and understand the different record types, click on the small triangle next to the permit category to select the permit type you wish to apply for. If you are unsure what category your permit would fall under, you can use the search option or go to fortworthtexas.gov backslash development services for more information. Once you have selected your permit type, click continue application to proceed to the next step of the permit. Address. Here, you will enter the address of your permit. If you do not have an address, you will need to contact Development Support Services by calling 817-392-2222 or email devcustomerservice at fortworthtexas.gov to discuss early plan review options. Be sure to click on Save and Resume Later before closing out of Citizen Access. This will allow you to come back to your incomplete application at a later time. Enter the street number and street name of the address, then click search. If you see more than one option for the address entered, choose the one with the most information. You will then see a list of data showing associated parcel and owner information. You will choose the options that you know are correct and then click the select button. This will populate the information into your application. Enter any missing information and then click Continue Application to proceed. Contacts. Here you will enter a licensed professional, an applicant, a site contact, and a plans exam contact if applicable. For the licensed professional, you can choose to add new or look up. To add a new contractor, you will need to enter the contractor's registration number and all other required fields. If using look up, you may search for a specific contractor by using that contractor's name, business, RV number, etc. If applying for a homestead permit, meaning you both own the property and currently reside in said property, please enter homestead in the CFW box under lookup. If applying for a change of use without remodeling work, please enter owner in the CFW box. For the applicant, site contact, and plans exam contact, you can choose from an associated account or you can add new. To choose from an associated account, click select from account, this will give you the option to choose the contact associated with your login or from the owner associated with the property address. Select the contact. Make sure the required information is entered and click continue. If adding a new contact, click add new and enter the required information. Once that information has been entered, click continue. Once all of the contacts have been entered, Click Continue to move on. Custom Fields, Miscellaneous Information. The expiration date will auto-populate. Choose Residential from the Commercial Residential dropdown. If your permit is an X-Team permit, check the X-Team permit box. Residential Accessory. Please choose the type of accessory structure you're wanting to permit from the options given in the dropdown. Please note, pergolas, gazebos, arbors, etc. would fall under the Shade Structure option. Third-party information. If you'll be using a third party to perform the inspections and or the plan review, please select yes. 
Please choose the third party that will be conducting inspections and or plan review from the dropdown. Construction information. Please enter the total cost of construction in the total job value box. For accessory structures that can be occupied, like carports, storage sheds, garages, shade structures, etc., enter the total square footage of the structure. Fees for these types of structures will be based off the square footage. For accessory structures that cannot be occupied, like fences, retaining walls, pools, etc., enter the estimated cost of construction without including any mechanical, electrical, or plumbing work in the estimated cost box. Fees for these types of structures will be based off the trade work involved at a price of $100 per trade. Click Continue Application to move on. Attachments. Please upload all of the required documents. Please note all documents must be in PDF format. Click on Add to open the file upload box. Click on Add again to select the record you wish to upload. Click Continue Application to move on. Review. Please review all of the information to make sure it is accurate. You may make any changes by clicking the Edit button next to the category you wish to correct. Once you have reviewed all of the information, click Continue Application to move on to the payment portion. Pay fees. There is a $25 application fee and a $5 technology fee associated with all permits. Fees for new residential accessory structures that can be occupied are based off the total square footage of the structure. Fees for new residential accessory structures that cannot be occupied are based off of the trade work involved. The fees are $100 for each trade. Click Checkout to continue. If paying by credit card, choose the Pay with Credit Card option. If paying by check, choose the Pay with Bank Account option. Please enter all of the required information. If paying by check, please note the ACH block information on the screen. When entering your driver's license information, please make sure to enter the state abbreviation before the license number. Once you have entered your information, please click on the Authorize button to confirm payment. You will receive a receipt and confirmation that your permit has been submitted. Once your permit has been submitted, a Development Support Services representative will check your application. If additional information is needed, you will receive an email with all details. If nothing else is needed, the permit will be written on for review. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please contact us at 817-392-2222 or at devcustomerservice at fortworthtexas.gov.